Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I want to show you how you can add dynamic data to your website very easily. And why would you want to do this? Well, in the case of this website, I have this photography website, and as I scroll down into the portfolio section, I can manually update this portfolio by dropping in images, updating the description, but wouldn't it be great if that content is pulled in dynamically? I don't know, say from Flickr if I want to, pulling in my content from Flickr, uh, maybe from Picasa, one of my uh, albums there, or even from YouTube, dynamically pulling in this data for my website. Well, that's exactly what I want to do, and I'm going to use Dreamweaver to do this. So I'm going to show you the Dreamweaver team blog. You can read about the modernized Dreamweaver CC and as I scroll down, know that you can add additional functionality. We've added a lot to it, but you can enable server behaviors in previous versions if you want to. But I want to point out these two uh, options right down here, these two extensions. There's the Bootstrap extension, making your content work on multiple screens, giving you a grid format. But more importantly, the HTML5 data bindings extension. This will allow me to bind data uh, using HTML5 to my web content, which is great. Okay, And these are also posted on my website, uh, paultranny.com. But you don't need to really even go to my website, to be honest with you, because all you need to do is launch Dreamweaver and go into Window, down to Extensions, and launch the Adobe Exchange panel. And what that does is that will give you the ability to install the extensions, just like I've done here. So install these two, and you'll be ready to go. So I'm going to use HTML5 data bindings as I jump in there. And it is by DMX Zone, so uh, hats off to them and the Dreamweaver team for putting all this together. Uh, but HTML5 data bindings will appear down at the bottom when you're ready to use it. So let's check it out. Opening up that particular panel, you can see my data bindings right here. So I can add a new data source. Launching that. In this case, it's going to be a uh, photo. Give it a name, photo. But check this out. Under source, I can expand that out. And you can see I can pick from, oh look, uh, Facebook, Flickr, uh, Picasa, YouTube, my own custom data feed if I want to. But in this case, I can pick any one of these. I'm going to pick the user album photos. Okay, Taking a certain al album there, I'm going to add a user ID and an album. ID as well, which I've gotten from Picasa, so I know which one to use. I can test out that feed, but it's going to return a thumbnails as well, so I can pick the size. I'm going to use 160 cropped, but that's all I need to do is click OK, and you'll see that content populate in that panel. You'll see the feed, opening that up as I scroll down, selecting entry, Entry is what I want to get. So I'm actually just going to select Entry, and I want to get all that Entry content and use it right down here in my portfolio section. Not just for this one thumbnail, I actually want to use it for this uh, unordered list, so this entire area. That's where I want to make this data available. So selecting unordered list and then again, scrolling over here, feed, entry, selecting that entry. I can repeat that entry region, but I want to repeat the children. So I'm selecting children right down there at the bottom. And then I'm going to select insert. Okay, it's added that data binding repeat children. You can see it right there. In fact, let's preview this in a browser and I'll just show you. As I scroll down, it's getting that data, okay, and is looping through it. Got uh, these various results, okay. So, and uh, to be honest with you, this is a good start because I know it's pulling in the data, but I need to go ahead and replace these thumbnails. It's my first step. All right, so back in Dreamweaver, selecting that particular image, scrolling down. Now, for that feed, we're looping through all of this content. But I want to look for something that says thumbnail. So I'm going to go into media group and 
if I take a look, I want to select media thumbnail, okay? And I want to get the URL, so the URL for that thumbnail and replace that uh, placeholder icon with that particular URL. So I want to bind to that image data source when that is ready. I could use image source, but I actually want to make sure the data is available first and then use that image. So image data source is what I'm using. Selecting bind. It will loop through, bind that source to that particular thumbnail, preview it in my browser, scrolling down, and you can see all the content right there. Uh, so far, so good. I think that I think that looks pretty good. But I also have this uh, this photo and this description right down here. And really, what I want to do is I want to be able to select each one of these and display it right down beneath. Okay. So going back into Dreamweaver. It's uh, roughly the same process. What I want to do is again, select that particular row. For that row, I want to bind more content to it. Going over here to my data bindings panel, scrolling down and selecting entry, should still be selected. I want to insert a detail region is what I'm inserting now. So get the specific details of that region and it's going to repeat selecting insert and now that data is available so it's gonna get that detail region and now I can start to use it okay so the first thing I want to do is select that big image and then I'm gonna go to my data bindings panel scrolling down to media group I used the thumbnail earlier but this time I'm just gonna get the media content and get that specific URL, the actual content, uh, in this case, that large image from that specific URL. So selecting that, same case of binding to the data source, selecting bind, and it will bind it right to that uh, particular image. Uh, next up, I can do a couple more things. I can get the, the photo description. And in this case, I'm just gonna select that text. And then I'm going to go over here to the media description, okay? So rather than getting a URL or uh, any of that other stuff, I want to get the dollar sign T, so basically getting the text, literally selecting that text. It's going to get that text and insert it right there. So that's where that uh, title is going to go. Same thing for the height in this case. So select insert just like that getting the width the same process making this easy inserting the width uh, maybe the album title sure why not uh, in this case I might want to go to the feed and really I'm gonna look for something that says title because this is the data that's being returned so I need to go ahead and access that right up here title insert right there Subtitle, same thing, going up here, inserting that item right there. All dynamic data, all being pulled in just fine. In fact, let's take a look by previewing this in a browser right now. Scrolling down, portfolio, sure enough, that first item, early morning at Cape Byron gives me the size, um, gives me the album and then the album uh, description as well. But what's not working? Well, I can't select any one of these images. It doesn't populate uh, this content and neither do these next and previous buttons work. So that's what I wanna do now is make sure when I click on any one of those thumbnails to populate this main area. So I'm gonna jump back into Dreamweaver and select that image. And in this case, I already have the data available. It's just a matter of populating it in the right place. And I need to add a behavior. So I'm opening up the behaviors panel, clicking the plus sign, DMX zone, control HTML5 data bindings. Sounds like a great idea. Selecting that, uh, get the active uh, record, repeat one, current selection. Okay, so get that current selection. Okay, that's what I want to get and that's gonna happen on click, it's going to populate that area. Running this in the browser, coming down here, clicking on the bridge, and you can see 
the bridge is being populated and this content works. Okay, so I'm using that particular uh, behavior available and populating content below. Now let's make these previous and next buttons work. Again, scrolling down to them, I can select them the same way. DMX zone using the HTML5 data bindings. In this case, I don't want to get the current selection. I, would need, to, I need to get the next record. All right, the next record for the next button, the previous previous record for the previous button, selecting OK, and just like that. In fact, we can take a peek at the code. You can see there it is. Uh, there is the previous and the next. It's going to get the previous and the next items, saving that running it in a browser as my last step scrolling down you can see there's all my content selecting what I want say between these two and then selecting the next button you can see how it will advance in the previous buttons so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial I encourage you to check out dmxzone.com because they have a ton of extensions for Dreamweaver lots of cool things um, and I encourage you to check out all of that content and my own website as well so thanks so much for watching